all of us should be famous for love, famous for our unconditional love. I love it that this is a church that embraces everyone, that has wide open arms. Whoever you are, you are welcome here because of God's unconditional love. I was recording my journey to the Alpha Weekend on Snapchat and then we were partying on the Saturday night and he was like, yo, like, what, where's that? Like, why didn't you invite me? And I was like, it's the Alpha Weekend away. And he was like, no, I want to come next time. And I was like, all right, come next time. And then he, he came. People who have suffered know how to smile. Mm. Now, this is not confession anymore. <laughs> this is a spirit. May, may I wipe mine? <laughs> yes, I would like to wipe mine too. <laughs> there's an entire section in the bookshop called self-help and there's no section in the bookshop called help others. Mm. Mm. And that's a problem. I, for one, would like to pioneer the industry of helping others, mm. the help others industry. Mm. A friend of mine has said they will give me a thousand pounds for my charity if I get Nicky Gumbel to gallop. <laughs> <laughs> and then gallop round the stage for a thousand pounds. I am so sorry, but I'm a leader now. You must follow me. Nicky Gumbel galloping. Living a Christian life, like young people will walk past and see that you have like a bright light on you. God's given me that light to shine to you and to older generation, to everyone. Lord Jesus. Focus is family, it's community, it's encounter with God, it's gathering around a vision for our churches, our towns, and our cities. There are people here who struggle with mental health. Do you think Jesus has counted them out because of their health issues? Jesus is saying, I'm not counting you out. You are enough for me. You are good enough for me. These are the words that Jesus gives us today. If you think that God can't use you, remember the people that he used in the Bible. Noah was a drunk. David had an affair and was a murderer. Zacchaeus was too small. Paul was too religious. Timothy had an ulcer. And Lazarus was dead. This is a growing family. We're part of a family that is extending by planting churches and new people are coming to faith, new people are coming back to church. God is doing something amazing in this country. As we go out together to show this world the unconditional love it so desperately needs, we will see the evangelization of this nation, the revitalization of the church, and the transformation of our society. In Jesus' name, amen.